Hello mga kawamat! In this video lesson, we will discuss experimental research design. So the experimental research design uh, is the most effective method for testing cause and effect relationship. Like for example, no, uh, in this time of pandemic, gusto mo ngayong pag-aralan o gusto mo malaman kung uh, may epekto ba itong pandemic sa mental health ng mga estudyante. Yan ay napakagandang topic ng experimental. So, nagagamit ng experimental research design pala. No? Another, pag sinabi natin experimental research design, the result from this type of research can be statistically analyzed. Once a hypothesis is made, so sa experimental kasi, dito meron kang uh, starting point, yung hypothesis. Unlike sa other research design, like for example, sa descriptive, wala tayong hypothesis doon. Dito sa experimental, so meron tayong hypothesis. Experiments are begun to find out whether the hypothesis is correct or not. It involves observation for a scientific purpose. So sa experimental research design, hindi lang ito pang para lang sa tao no, yung tinitest dito. So madalas, ito ay for science like for example, sa box uh, gusto mo ngayon malaman kung effective yung vaccine o yung na-develop na uh, bagong gamot. So, experimental research design yan. So, pwede rin naman yung maging uh, samples mo dito ay animals, plants, o yung ibang characteristics din. So, hindi lang madalas tao pa, pag sa experimental research design. It is a test cause and effect relationship between variables under conditions which as far as possible are controlled by the researchers. So, in experimental, may tinatawag din tayong intervention. So, halimbawa, uh, itong intervention na to, gusto mong itest kung effective ba or hindi sa, let's say, for example, sa klase. Uh, si teacher gumamit na isang intervention, intervention material. And then, ginamit niya ngayon sa klase, tinignan niya, tinest niya kung effective ba yung intervention material na yon. So, di dyan pumapasok yung pre- and post-test design. So, prior nung experimentation, so si teacher magpapapre-test muna. So, bago yung experimentation, magbibigay si teacher ng pre-test. And then, after yung pre-test, sa kanya uh, i-implement yung uh, paggamit ng intervention material. So, after uh, implementation ng intervention material, bibigyan niya ulit ngayon ng test or assessment yung bata na kung saan ginamitan ng intervention material. So, dun yan ngayon malalaman kung effective ba talaga or hindi yung uh, ginamit na intervention material. So, what are the uh, important concepts sa experimental design? First, it involves manipulation or control of variables to achieve desired conditions. So, as a researcher, meron kang control doon sa uh, variable na tinitest natin. It analyzes the result derived from control and experimental groups. So, yun nga, kapag may intervention ka, so let's say meron kang dalawang group, gusto mo ngayon tingnan kung yan ay effective, so meron kang experimental at meron kang control group. Kung saan sa experimental group, sila yung gagamit ng intervention na yon Sa kanila ngayon test yung intervention na yon Yung control group naman, sila yung hindi gagamit. Okay, an independent variable is manipulated to determine the effect of manipulation. Subjects are randomly assigned to experimental treatment. So again, ito ay isa rin sa pinaka-importanting concept na pagdating sa experimental, uh, yung respondents or yung magiging samples are randomly assigned. Experiments rely on hypothesis testing. So, what are the advantages of experimental design? The result from this type of research design can be statistically analyzed. It is easier to replicate the experiments and validate the results. It can give a yes or no answer. One variable can be easily manipulated. Results are more accurate. And what are the disadvantages of experimental research design? It can be uh, almost too perfect. 
with the condition being under complete control and not being representative of real-world conditions. Results can be too accurate and it's very difficult to obtain a complete rejection or acceptance of hypothesis because the standards or proof required are so difficult to teach. This type of research design are expen is expensive and hard to set up. So like, kasi na, hindi lang naman lahat palagi no, itong pagdating sa experimental research design, hindi lang tao, hindi ka lang nabibigay ng questionnaires. So dito sa experimental research design, pwede rin gawin through laboratory. So hindi lang madalas sa field. Kaya medyo may kamahalan. It can also be very impractical. So, madalas ito sa mga STEM students. So, madalas nilang gamitin yung research design na to. So, here's some example experimental research design. The effect of teaching with a cooperative group strategy or a traditional lecture approach in student achievement. So, tinitingnan kung effective ba na, let's say, yung may mga group tasks, okay, yung mga performance tasks na ginagawa by groups or yung traditional method pa rin na uh, individual. A comparison on the effect of personalized instruction versus traditional instructional on computational skills. The effect of a new treatment plan on a breast cancer. Okay, so ito yung mga sample research na gumamit na experimental research design. So, pwede nyo itong gawing guide. So, I think meron pa dito. Okay. So, yan ay sample na experimental research design. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.